Alright guys, welcome back. This is Brave and Blood. I'm starting the tutorial to League of Legends. I've never played this game, but I've been wanting to get into it and just see what it's about. I like Dota, I do like Diablo and Torchlight 2, so... Though this game is kind of like Dota 2, but a lot of my friends, you know, pointed me to it, said it'd be a good game, I've watched videos on it, thought it'd be pretty cool to watch, so... Let's try to get into. Welcome to the League of Legends tutorial. The object of League of Legends is to pierce the enemy's defenses and destroy the Nexus located in the heart of their base. In League of Legends, you control a champion, a powerful and heroic individual. Each champion has unique and powerful abilities that set them apart from other champions. No two champions are alike. For this battle, you will control Ash, the Frost Archer. You can move your champion by right-clicking a destination. We must move press Ash on. to the waypoint visible on your screen. The second waypoint is in an area clouded by the Fog of War. The Fog of War represents areas of the map into which neither you nor your allies can see. Hmm, that's interesting. Move Ash to the second waypoint. We are one people. Good job! I've summoned a group of training minions next to your champion. Under normal battle conditions, minions fight until slain in the fields of justice. Attack the training minions by right-clicking on them once. For the Thrill Yord. So right clicking must be the key on the leveled up. Each time your champion destroys an enemy unit or structure, you will gain experience. This is tracked in your experience bar. Additional levels allow your champion to improve the their Thrill abilities. Yord. Spend your first ability point on volley by clicking on the level up indicator. Well done. summoned another group of training minions. This time, use Ash's new ability, Volley, to strike all the enemy minions at once. Select the Volley ability by left-clicking on its icon. Next, confirm your Arc of Fire by left-clicking on your target. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Take the high ground. Never lose hits. Oh, I want to die here. I do my best work from afar. Left click will shoot your target and left click will cancel the ability. United, we are stronger. We're on 
the right path. Do not confuse mercy for weakness. Okay, so I really don't know what I'm doing right here. It would help if it would give me some tips. Open screen, sound interface. Let's move that over here. Abilities. Stats. Stand together. This seem to slowly be regenerating and ah, I'm gonna die. Run, run, Motone, Archer. I won't lead us astray. Oh, protect the path of your enemy. Just can't always attack those. Stand together. Oh, I'll make it back. Run. Really wish it would run. I do my best work from afar. Peace requires a steady hand. The voiceovers is pretty cool. Never lose focus. Your champion is wounded from the previous encounter. As a summoner, you possess two spells that you can use in the fields of justice. For this fight, one of those spells is Heal. Replenish your champion's health by clicking on the Heal icon. Good job. Oh, no. That helps a lot. Your champion is to return them to your summoner platform. This may be quickly accomplished by casting the recall spell at any time. A champion standing on their summoner platform rapidly replenishes their health and mana. Notice that you have earned some gold. Just like experience, you gain gold whenever your champion slays a minion. You also gain a little bit of gold steadily over the course of time. Spend your gold to purchase items for your champion in the shop. Next to the summoner platform, the shop has many items for sale, some of which are components from more powerful equipment. Ash already has a cloth armor and a chain vest in her inventory. These are the two components required to forge Thornmail. Purchase Thornmail by double clicking on its icon in the recommended items list. You've successfully purchased Thornmail, which is a great defensive item against enemies that have a high attack speed. An allied summoner has sent their champion to assault the enemy defenses. Unlock the camera and pan over to see how the battle is progressing. Oh no. Oh, I see. By attacking this turret without any support, this champion is receiving the full brunt of its devastating blows. Always be wary around enemy turrets. Turrets will come to the defense of friendly champions who are under attack. The time has come for you to take up arms. Go into the lane and meet the Swiftly enemy now. head on. All right. Time to battle. Stay behind your minions. We are it's one. better for them to take the brunt of an assault than you. Turn 
turn the tide of battle to your favor. United, we are Press stronger. forward to bring the fight to the enemy. Remember to use your minions to your advantage. I always take the high ground. Victory. I won't lead us astray. Proceed down the lane and lay waste to the enemy's base. Look out! It's an enemy champion. A champion is a much greater threat than a minion. Champions are most often controlled by another player. On your way to becoming a legend. Next, destroy the enemy's inhibitor. Make it count. Only Once an inhibitor is disabled, your nexus summons super minions into that lane. Now claim victory by destroying the enemy's nexus. Let's see how close they can get. Congratulations! You have completed the tutorial and won your first game of League of Legends. Now you should try some games where you are fighting against non-player champions. They are referred to as bots. If you're really brave, you can test your skills against other players. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This is my first time playing the game. I really enjoyed the tutorial. And I'm looking forward to playing with some of my friends that's playing it already. So, I hope this game, the tutorial was helpful for you. I know it helped me. The game is really visually appealing to me. I enjoyed it. And it's just fun to play. It's free to play. So there's no reason if you like RTS games not to download it. This is Brave and Blood. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment.